Using Hardware Description Languages in TINA Part 4 Creating Analog Components with Verilog AMS Hardware description languages are powerful tools to describe and simulate complex electronic devices. In this tutorial video, we will show you how you can create a DAC converter macro model from a Verilog AMS.VAMS code and use Antina. You can create macros from VHDL, Verilog, and Verilog A files in a similar way. You can create a macro from any .VHD .v, .va, .vams file that contains an entity, interface to the outside world with its architecture, description of the hardware. The meaning of the file extensions is as follows. Files with the .vhd extension are vhdl files. Files with the .v extension are verilog files. Files with the .va extension are verilog a files and the files with the .vams extension are Verilog AMS files. The ports declared in the interface part will automatically appear in the macro symbol, shape. By default, the input ports of the interface will appear on the left side of the generated macro shape, and the output ports of the interface will appear on the right side. But by editing the generated macro, you can change this arrangement. Let's demonstrate the details. We will first create the generator with Serial Output SPI. This is given in VHDL. Next, we will create a DAC converter macro given in Verilog AMS. Open TINA. Click the Tools menu. Select New Macro Wizard. Type a name for the new macro. In our case, SPI. Change the settings from Current Circuit to From File. Click the Open icon. Select TINA Examples. Open the examples. Verilog AMS folder. Change the file type to .vhd. Then select the SPI file and click Open. Press the Next button. You can either select the Auto Generate shape or you can load a shape from the library. Let's select the Auto Generate shape option. Then click Next. You can browse the code and see how easy it is to create an SPI output in VHDL. Click Next again and save the macro spi.tsm into the default macrolib folder. You can insert the macro by pressing the Insert button or you can select the Insert Macro from the menu. Click the Insert button. The macro will be attached to your cursor. Place it wherever you wish on the workspace. Next, we will create a DAC converter macro from a .vams code, and we will use the VHDL macro, created previously, and the Verilog AMS macro in the same circuit. To demonstrate that in TINA, you can use VHDL and Verilog, Verilog A, Verilog AMS macros in the same circuit. Click the Tools menu. Select New Macro Wizard. Type a name for the new macro. In our case, DAC. Change the settings from Current Circuit to From File. Click the Open icon. Select TINA Examples. Open the examples. Verilog AMS folder. Change the file type to .vams. Then select the DAC VAMS.VAMS file and click Open. Press the Next button. Select the Auto Generate Shape option. Press the Next button. 
Change the orientation of the pins listed on the screen into right. Click the appropriate module to be selected. Then click the left button under the orientation field. Then select right. Change the position of the pins on the right side by using the move up or move down buttons. Change the position of the modules on the left side as well. Click Next and save your TSM file under the name DAC into your default Macrolib folder. Click Insert and place the DAC macro on the workspace. Double-click the DAC macro, then press the Enter Macro button to check its content. The content of the macro appears. OK, now close the HDL editor window of Tina. Let's create the following circuit to test the new DAC model. Connect the DAC inputs with the appropriate SPI outputs. Draw a wire starting from the CLK pin. From the meters toolbar, select the voltage pin and connect to the wire. Double-click the voltage pin and rename the label into CLK. Continue connecting the DAC inputs with the appropriate SPI outputs. Start drawing the wire from VREF. Select the voltage source, VS1, from the basic toolbar and connect it to VREF. Next, connect the ground to VS1. Connect the battery, V1, to VDD and a ground to AGND. Finally, connect a voltage pin to VOUTA, analog output. Then rename it. Let's test the circuit by running transient analysis. Click Analysis on the menu, then select Transient, then click OK. Let's test the circuit for a time period of 1 millisecond. Click the Analysis menu on the toolbar, then select the Transient mode again. In the Transient Analysis dialog box, change the value of the end display field to 1 milli. Our DAC converter works as expected. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video underscore tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina. Free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud, the cloud-based, multi-language, installation-free online version of Tina, running in your browser anywhere in the world.